What's going on guys? I know I haven't posted one of these in a long time, but Philip Brooks is back and since it's been so long I'll have to recap what happened last year. The Gators finished 5-7 and seven, and Brooks did not have a very good year. He threw a lot of interceptions and it cost Florida a lot of football games. But it's a new season. He's now the junior quarterback, one of the top quarterbacks rated in the nation. But he's got to play like it this year. And at the first game against the Toledo Rockets, and Brooks getting off to a good start, hooking up with the receiver, getting down to the 29-yard line. He's 2-for-2 two two so far on this drive. And now Brooks play action, and he's looking to his tight end, his favorite target last year, looking to have a big year again this year. And on second and goal, Brooks finds his receiver in the end zone for a touchdown. So an impressive opening drive for Phillip Brooks and the Florida Gators. And now we'll go to the second quarter. Florida up 7-0. Handoff goes to the running back. And he's going to get Florida into field goal range. And now Brooks the opportunity to add on to Florida's lead. And wide open touchdown pass. Brooks is second on the day. His favorite target was just left wide open. And you know he's going to capitalize on that. But Toledo would fight back, and they make it 17-14, to and Brooks taking off. Now a spin move followed by a juke. Brooks has got the moves, and he spins right into a defender and puts the ball on the ground. Luckily, his teammate recovers it, but Brooks has got to slide in those situations. And on second and four, Brooks then hooking up with his receiver as he takes the top off the defense for the third touchdown pass of the game. Now 24-14, getting down there in the third quarter, and Brooks is just going to take off. You know he loves to run the ball, and he picks up yards and big chunks when he chooses to do so. And now on the option, Brooks just sees the hole, and he takes it up for the touchdown. It's his first rushing touchdown on the season. And Toledo would fight back, but Brooks would end their comeback hopes with another touchdown pass, and Florida would win this game 40-22. Impressive showing for Phillip Brooks in his first game of the season. A good completion percentage, five touchdowns, and no interceptions. And now Florida has a very tough matchup. In-state rivals, the Miami Hurricanes. Florida's first possession, and Brooks gets away from a defender and takes off. Only gets six yards on the play. Was shaken up and wouldn't return until the second quarter. And still no score. Very defensive up to this point. Brooks finds his tight end for a first down. And then working from the 38-yard line, Brooks hits his tight end once again over the middle. Getting into Hurricanes territory. Trying to capture this lead. Florida would get a field goal on that drive. And now their next possession, third and long, and Brooks... Nobody open. He's just going to take off, and he gets outside, gets a linebacker out of position, and he's going to get a first down to the 15-yard line after diving out of bounds. And now third down and four for the Gators. Wide receiver cutting across over the middle, and Brooks hits him for a score. Touchdown, Gators. They're up 10 to nothing. Miami would battle back and tie this game up. Now in the third quarter, Brooks quick pass to his slot receiver. That's going to be a first down inside of the red zone now. And second and goal. Brooks under pressure. He's going to scramble out of the pocket. And now he's going to step up and throw the ball to his wide receiver for a touchdown. That's a great play by the junior quarterback. Getting better as he's getting more experience. It's great to see if you're a Gators fan. Now first down. Gets away from a defender, but then is eventually sacked. Nice coverage sack by the Hurricanes defense. And third and seven, trying to keep the drive alive and take more time off the clock. And what a sideline grab by the tight end. Perfect ball placement on the throw by Brooks. Now first down, working in Hurricanes territory. Brooks evades a defender and then is sacked once again. And the Gators need another first down to clinch this game. Third and ten. And back to the sideline, this time hooking up with his receiver on the outside. And Florida would be able to run the rest of the clock out. And they beat the Hurricanes 17-10. Brooks did not even attempt 10 passes in the game. But he did what he needed to do to win. Didn't throw any interceptions. And made clutch plays that helped Florida secure the victory. And so week 3 now opening up SEC play against Ole Miss at home. And right away getting going. Getting into Ole Miss territory. Nice pass by Brooks. And now scrambling on 3rd and 10. Getting outside. He's faster than most defensive players. He has got some wheels. I tell ya. And then on second and goal, Brooks trying to run the option and goes up the middle himself. Gets to the four yard line. That would lead to a rushing touchdown for the Gators. Now a 14 7 lead. Brooks taking off once again, picking up the first down. Brooks is such a dangerous quarterback, and if he plays like this all year, Florida is a team to look out for. And Brooks goes back to his tight end, a reliable target for him. 
And now we'll go to the fourth quarter, up 21 to 17, and Brooks finds his tight end, and he gets behind the defense, and it's going to be a long touchdown pass for Phillip Brooks and the Florida Gators. That would clinch the victory. Ole Miss would try to battle back, but Florida would win this game 31 to 24. And that is going to conclude this episode in the Phillip Brooks series. I had a lot of people requesting another episode as I hadn't made one in almost a month. And so I hope to bring another one soon. And don't forget, tonight is my live stream for the Madden 12 franchise and our final preseason game and the beginning of a regular season. And so follow me on Twitter at Mr. Hurricane and come enjoy the live stream tonight. And I'll see you guys in the next commentary.